Are you selling your house and wonder who pays the closing costs when selling a house by owner? That is absolutely awesome because that's exactly what we're talking about today. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're watching this video. My name is Esfir Papalevsky. I'm with Supreme Home Sales. And as a Staten Island realtor, I love helping people navigate the selling process. And the big part of that, which I'm always being asked is, who pays the closing costs? Who pays the closing costs when selling a house by owner? Who pays the closing costs when selling a house with a realtor? Whatever that is, we're going to talk about closing costs. If you're selling or thinking about selling and closing costs are on your mind, stick around to find out who pays the closing costs, what are the closing costs, and how much the closing costs are. I'm going to be hitting you with some numbers today. I'm also going to help you calculate the closing costs. Are you ready? I am. Once you accepted an offer on your house, you're expecting a huge profit, right? And then comes all of these closing costs. Unfortunately, when you sell a house, you gotta pay closing costs. So as a seller, you have your own closing costs and the buyer has their own closing costs. Some of the costs are identical and some are different. So let's go over what the closing costs are. Here's a big one. Let's start with transfer taxes. In New York, we have two transfer taxes, the New York City transfer tax and the New York State transfer tax. Now that's a pretty big hefty bill out of your entire closing costs. So let's start with the hefty bill on your closing costs, which are the transfer taxes. Every time we sell a house, but we're talking about our per primary residential property, okay? Every time we sell a house, we pay the transfer taxes. In New York, we have two transfer taxes. One is the New York City transfer tax, and one is the New York State transfer tax. I would like to see if you can guess which one, New York City or New York State, is the more expensive transfer tax. Comment below, let me know, but we get to it soon. Then you have your attorney. You cannot sell or buy a house in New York without an attorney because we're in an attorney state. And then you'll have your recording fees to record the deed and record the sale in the county clerk's office. The general rule of thumb to calculate closing costs kind of breaks down to two categories. Sale under 500,000 and sale above 500,000. When you sell a house under 500,000 or just about up to, which I like to always say $499,999, this will put you in under 500 and the taxes will be calculated. New York City tax would be 1% of the sale price and the New York State tax would be 0.4%. That's how you would calculate it. So if you guessed right, I hope you did, I should find your comment below. Anyway, once you sell your house 500 and up, that's where things get a little bit more expensive. Now the New York City tax goes up to 1.4% and the New York State tax goes up to 0.425%. Keep in mind that these numbers work up to $2 million. Once you hit that $2 million mark, that transfer taxes are even higher. If you want to know exactly what they are, I did a video about closing costs for sellers selling your house on Staten Island. You can watch that next right there. Your attorney fee would probably run somewhere between $1,200 to about $1,800 for the attorney services. The attorney will take care of issuing a contract to the buyer's attorney on your behalf, making sure that your terms and price and conditions are met and are working in your favor. The attorney will also facilitate any types of title issues that might come up on your behalf. The commitment for your buyer from the mortgage is in time. Make sure that the 
dates that are in the contract are followed through and facilitate the closing for you to complete the sale. The recording fee might run you somewhere between $250 and $350. And of course, if you have a mortgage, the mortgage principal balance will be paid at the closing table and you will receive the net proceeds after everybody has been paid. At the beginning of the video, I promised you that I will help you calculate the closing costs, right? So follow me to the board and we'll do them. The first calculations we will use is a sale up to 500,000. So we use 500,000 for this example. Sale price of 500,000 at 1% New York City transfer tax equals 5,000 and sale price of 500,000 at 0.4% New York State tax equals a 2,000 attorney and 1,800 recording fee and about 350. That will bring us into at $9,150. And that's only your closing costs, and it's not including any payoff of mortgage or a realtor's fee if you go with the realtor. Are you ready for our median sale price calculation for Staten Island home sales, which is about 650 to 700? So we want to go with 700 for this example. So if we sell the house at 700,000. The New York City tax transfer tax right now is at 1.4%, which equals 9,800. And the New York State transfer tax is 0.425%. And that gives us $2,975, which totals Five, two, eleven, twelve, fourteen. Now your closing costs are fourteen thousand eight hundred and twenty-five dollars, and that's the calculations. So yeah, you will have your own closing costs. The buyer will have their own closing costs. Uh, buyers don't have transfer taxes. What they have is title policy and what they have is a mortgage tax if they are using a mortgage to purchase the property. The attorney fees and the recording fees are the same for the buyer as well. So if you really think about it, the closing costs uh, are pretty much a line on both ends of course the mortgage tax is kind of expensive if you're thinking about selling your house and you want to sell it by owner i did a video about how does a for sale by owner work on staten island you can things watch. you must do to sell your own house you can it will watch. give you really good information it will help you to set yourself up for successful sale by owner selling your own house Thanks for watching and I will see you on my next video. Be sure to subscribe, click on the notification bell, make a comment, ask a question.